We've covered the clinical aspects of mono, and now let's talk about how to test for it. The most commonly used test is the heterophile antibody test. It's also called the monospot test, meaning an on-the-spot test for mono. Hetero means other, in this case referring to other species, and phile means loving. So these antibodies love other species. And more specifically, what that means is they bind to sheep red blood cells. Kind of strange, right? Well, here's what else is strange. Normally, when we test for antibodies, we're testing for antibodies that your body makes against a certain virus or bacterium. But in this case, heterophile antibodies are produced by the infected dysfunctional B cells. So as a result, after infection, once you clear those infected B cells, the test is going to be negative again. Now the downside to heterophile antibodies is they're not very specific and not very sensitive for mono. And they're actually even less sensitive than usual in young children compared to adolescents and adults. And we mentioned that the test goes negative after infection. It's actually also negative usually in the first week or so of infection. So if someone has a negative monospot and you still think they might have mono, you can move on to a more sensitive test. So one such test is the anti-VCA antibody. VCA stands for viral capsid antigen. And this antibody is produced by your immune system targeting EBV. And it's produced early in infection and it persists after infection, unlike the heterophile antibody. Remember when we said that 90 to 95% of adults have been infected? How did we know that? Well, that was based on testing for anti-VCA antibodies, which, as we said, remain positive after infection. Another antibody test is anti-EBNA antibodies, which test for nuclear antigens. And that also targets the virus, but unlike anti-VCA, this appears late after infection. And once it appears, it also persists. So this seems less helpful than the VCA because it shows up later, but actually it's useful because imagine someone is anti-VCA positive, but anti-EBNA negative. So that suggests that they have an acute infection. Now note that all of these tests are going to be negative if you have mono caused by something other than EBV. So if everything is negative and it looks like mono, you might want to test for HIV or CMV or something else. 